Rönsel ne bante? Yeah. <laughs> Yas pati to sumano vipakan pati sevati. Okay, listen to it again. Tanche tamang katang sadhu yang katwa nang nutapm pati. Yas pati to sumano vipakan pati sevati. Okay, once again, three times. Tanche kamma katang sadhu yang katwa nang nutapm pati yas pati to sumano vipakan pati sevati okay let us recite again with uh with my voice which is not beautiful but old voice not young Okay, I recite line by line and you repeat after me. Tanche kamang katang sadhu. Tanche kamang katang sadhu. Yang katwa nanu tapati. Yam I made it na anutapati instead of na anutapati, okay? Yas pati to sumano. Yas pati to sumano. Pipa kang pati sevati. Again, Tanja Kamang Katang Sadhu Tanja Kamang Katang Sadhu Yang Katwa Na Anutapati Yang Katwa Na Anutapati Yas pati to sumano. Yas pati to sumano. Vipa kam pati sevati. Vipa kam pati sevati. Okay, two line by two line. Tanja kam mang katang sadhu. Yang kat. Tana Anutapati Anchakamangatamatamasadu Yamatama Anutapati Yasapati once again, you listen to this beautiful voice. Tanche kamang katang sadhu Yang katwa nang nutap pati Yas pati to sumano Vipakan pati sevati. 
Okay, let us see the meaning. Thang that ch but sometimes ch is useful also or oh, and but here ch is but these are the uh, Pali usage the same preposition has different meaning kamang deed as you know kamang come with with intention if you say something do something and think something that's called kham khatang done a past participle sadhu well Sa sadhu good Actually, sadhu is good. Well, young, which katwa having done, na no anutapati regret. Yes, for which patito pleased, supmano happy, ipakang as the result. Patisevati follows him round, round. You remember the previous one? These two are very close in meaning, except one is negative, the other one is positive. Let us see the previous one just for a second. Uh, let me see. This is the... Okay. Previous one is na tang kam mang katang sadhu yang kato anutapati yas yas asumukho rodang vipakam patisevati. But this is just the opposite of that. Okay. The meaning is, but that deed is well done. Which having done, one has no regret for which he is pleased and happy as the result follows him around. As the result follows him around. So mm -hmm. one is negative, the other is positive. So we remember that we normally people after doing certain unwholesome thing they regret. So Buddha asked, when you do wholesome thing, you will be pleased, not regret. Now, here is the story behind. That is a very, very beautiful story. In uh, when uh, the Buddha was in uh, Savati, uh, there was a man uh, whose job is to make garlands with jasmine flower. Garland with jasmine flower. You know, jasmine is a very pleasant, has very pleasant fragrance, jasmine. And so this man was making garlands with this very fragrant jasmine flowers. And he brings eight such garlands to King Bimbisara. King Bimbisara. King Bimbisara is a, a very devout uh, a person who has attained the stream entry at the very sight of the Buddha. In a very short time, he attained stream entry. So this man made this uh, uh, jasmine flower garland to bring to the king eight of them, eight garlands, every day. And, he came, and the king gave him eight uh, 
maybe in today's time, eight dollars. That's all he got every day. So one day when he was <coughs> uh, taking the uh, flowers, he saw the Buddha. Normally Buddha uh, has very special mental ability that sometimes he walk without showing his radiance, aura, without showing his aura. Like when he went to see Angulimala, he did not uh, show his aura. He simply went as a, an ordinary monk. When he went to see, uh, when he was in uh, uh, some uh, potter's hut, uh, he went as an ordinary person. Nobody knew that he was Buddha. And that was why, that is, that is the reason why Pukusati could not recognize the Buddha. He was just an ordinary person. But this day, <coughs> this particular day, he was going out with his arms bowed. Uh, radiating his aura. This man, the man who made jasmine uh, flower garland, saw the Buddha and he was so thrilled, so happy that he thought, if I offer these flowers to this Buddha, the king will be very, very unhappy. Kings can do anything they like those days. No parliament, no cabinet, no nothing. He was just the king, could do anything. So he thought, if I offer this to the Buddha, and uh, then king find out uh, that I have not offered, uh, I have not given him this eight uh, flower uh, gar uh, garlands. He will either punish me, cut my head off, or banish me from the country. Then he thought, never mind. Let him do anything he wants. If he banish me, it is only one time. If he cut my head off, it is only one time. Uh, but when I offer this to the Buddha, I will have uh, beneficial lives in many times in samsara. With this thought, he offered this eight garlands of jasmine flowers to the Buddha. And each of them stayed in near the Buddha as garland canopy, as garland canopy. So with this many, many, many people came to see the Buddha because on the one hand he, had, he was radiant with aura, very clear aura, uh, second thing is he is having he's having all these jasmine garlands around him and then they all came. Then this man who made the garland went home empty handed, no money. So his wife asked him, uh, where is money today? He he told her the story. She got very upset. You fool! How can we live? On the one hand, we can we have no money to live today. On the other hand, when King comes to know that you have not brought this uh, garland to him today, as you normally do every day, uh, he will either kill you, punish you, or banish from the country. I don't want to stay with you. You uh, make me very unhappy. She picked up her child and ran to the palace. And then King asked her, uh, why did you come here? 
he said, she told him the story. I don't want to with, stay with him now because he did such and such a thing. Then King said, okay, I'll look at, I, I will see to that. I'll do what shall I do. Uh, you don't worry. I'll do something. So King went to the uh, Buddha and he saw this jasmine garland, flower garland. All of them, eight of them, and then uh, the king uh, called this man, the garland maker, and gave him <coughs> eight villages after, as gifts, <laughs> gave him eight kinds of jewels mm -hmm. and eight kinds of uh, uh, treasure and gold, silver, and so forth. He gave uh, uh, gold bullions and so forth and gave uh, eight villages uh, and then gave him all the things he needs for living that life. So, that was the punishment the king gave to him. <laughs> because he, the king was so pleased that this man offered all these flowers to the Buddha instead of bringing them to him. But his wife was upset. She did not know that king was uh, uh, sought up on a person attend at, attend the stream entry. So she was very upset and got angry. So this is uh, the summary of the whole story. It's a very beautiful story. And then the Buddha in the evening, as normal, normally he did, uh, he went to the uh, Lecture hall. There was a Dham Sabha. Lecture hall. Every day after meals, he takes some rest and then uh, went to the uh, preaching hall and sat on the seat arranged for him. And then, as when he was going there, monks were talking about this incident. So, <clears throat> Buddha said, If somebody, if somebody does something, uh, good karma, that person can think of it again and again and again, and uh, be <laughs> always happy. And then <clears throat> uh, he recited this stanza. Uh, so, let us recite, see the stanza once again and see uh, what uh, you all can do. You all must also learn the stanza. This is very easy to remember. And remember the meaning, remember the story behind, and why such deed should be done uh, instead of things that uh, makes you unhappy and regret later on. Okay, now let us recite the stanza again. Tanche kamang katang sadhu yang katwa nang nutap peti yasa Pati to sumano vipakan pati Okay, I like you to recite now. I recite it uh, line by line and then stanza, whole stanza. Then you repeat, you recite it out, after that by yourself. 
Now, for a second time, you recite with me. Uh, uh, recite after me, repeat after me. Sancha Kamang Katang Sadhu. Sancha Kamang Katang Sadhu. Yang Katwa Na Anutapati. Yang Katwa Na Anutapati. Yasapati to Sumano. Yasapati to Sumano. Tipakang Pati Sevati. Again, two lines. Tanchakam Wang Katang Sadhu Yang Kat. Tuana Anutapati Yasapati to Sumano Ripakam Pati Sevati Okay, now I want to I want you to recite Nim Nimi Tancha Kamam Katam Sadu Yakam Katwana Anutapati Yes, to sumano vipakam pati sevati. Very good. Then, Siri uh, Sampano Bikunis. Okay. Oh no, Satima, Satima. Okay. Tancha kamang katang sadu Yang katwana anutapati Yasapati to sumano Vipakang pati sewati. Very good, very good. Tessa. Sancha kamang katang sadu yam katwana anutapati yasa patito sumano vipakang patasevati. Okay, Inoka. Sancha kamang katam sadu yam katwana anutapati yasa patito sumano. Bipa kam pati sevati. <laughs> Maitri and Nipuna. Tancha kam mang katan sadu. Yam katwana anutapati. Yasa pati to sumano. Bipa kam pati sevati. Very good. Malik. Okay. Okay. Are you there? Cluster Siri Sampano. I don't hear you. <coughs> Is now better, Pante? Yeah. Tanchakamang Katang Sadu. Yang katwana anutapati 
Yasapatito Sumano Vipakam Patisevati. Good Dehani Dehani. Okay. Okay. Good. Kalina. Yang katva na anutapati Yasapati to sumano Vipakang pati sevati Very good. Hiro yuki Chakam mang katang sadu Yang katva na anutapati Yasapati to sumano Ipa kam pati se vati. Very good. Anaya. Tancha kamam katam sadhu yam katva na anupat anutapati yasa pati to sumano vipa kam pati se vati. Oh, good. Uh, Tessa, did you recite? Yes. Okay. Now. I think uh, Malit, you recited? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Then everybody recited. Very good today. We, now, we need to do Kusum. 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 Where is Kusum? Ah, yeah. Kusum, you recited. Tancha kamam katan sadhu yam katvana anutapati yasapati to sumano vipakam pati sevati. Ah, very good. Anybody else who did not recite? I think you all have done very good, very well today. Eh? So, <coughs> uh, Anaya recited, Anaya Koswata recited, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, okay, all of you recited. Now, <coughs> uh, this is the secret. <laughs> uh, 68. Uh, where is our uh, lady uh, what do you call my trees wife <laughs> I did not Bante. Huh? Bante, she has gone for a retreat Bante I won't read it okay. Oh, Darini, yes. <laughs> okay all right then all of you recited, and then <clears throat> today we, uh, 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 I, I encourage you to recite these things again and again and remember them. Remember these story, these uh, stanzas, and the pronunciation of Pali words, the meaning of each word, and then the, uh, the story behind it. And Buddha always encouraged us to do something that having done we will not regret and uh, always do something uh, you will be pleased day or night uh, whether you are in sleep or uh, awake uh, sitting standing walking lying down and so on all the time we should be happy when you have done something very wholesome now Today we have a little more time for meditation. Now let us start our meditation. That is a part of our uh, practice. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Those who join in the morning uh, know all these uh, metta recitals. Uh, and all those who have been coming to these uh, sessions, I hope you all know all of them by heart, by repeating so many times. And still it is very good to start our meditation, no matter how short it is, with the uh, metta recital, living friendliness recital. Uh, this is another uh, habit, wholesome habit, that we have to cultivate all the time. Now let us recite <coughs> metta. I recite it for you, and you listen, and then we all meditate together. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth. May all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, no despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm another. As a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment. Whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or when awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here. Not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing desire for sensual pressures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. So we, <coughs> we have uh, given instructions in the past so many times, and now we all meditate together. Okay?
by means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the foolish, may I join always with the wise, until the time and attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Friends, you can see, even in this aspiration, we say we don't want to join with the foolish, never join with the foolish, until at any point. <clears throat> when you join with the foolish, the danger you will encounter is given in this uh, series of stanzas, series of talks that I've been giving uh, and therefore we never want to join the foolish people. <coughs> you always want to join the wise person. Let us try to be wise and learn more Dhamma. The way to become wise <coughs> is given in the Dhamma. So we practice it and attain liberation. So with this, <coughs> I want to end my this afternoon session. And again, I want to share my uh, metta with all living beings, uh, those who are in hospitals, suffering from various diseases and taken care of by very kind doctors, nurses, and hospital staff. May they recover very soon and return to normal life, practice Dharma, practice meditation, and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May the doctors and nurses and hospital staff who also are taking risk, sacrificing their comfort to take care of these people, May they also find time to practice Dhamma, meditation, and liberate from samsaric suffering. May those who have lost their loved ones may be grieving, as we just mentioned, may they be free from grief and finally attain liberation from samsaric suffering. And may uh, all those who are in various war zones, troubles, but discriminations, and may they all find the nature of Dhamma, nature of living beings, and try to understand Dhamma, practice meditation, and attain liberation from samsari suffering. And may all those who are in the northern direction be well, happy, and peaceful, those who are in northeastern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are in eastern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are in southeastern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are in the southern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are southwestern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are in the western direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. Those who are northwestern direction, be well, happy, and peaceful. All those who are above us, below us, all those who are in these ten direct directions, be well, happy, and peaceful. And finally, may they all liberate from samsaric suffering. We want to share our metta with all living beings without any discrimination and finally we all attain liberation and nibbana with this metta recital metta thought let us end today's session and we and we see you again next saturday and sunday okay 
Thank you, Bonte. Thank, Thank you, Bonte. Bonte. Thank you, Bonte. Thank you. Thank you.